So here we have um, the nano encoder which is on 0 0.30 and the nano decoder which is on 0. Dot, sorry, the other way around. The encoder is on 0 0.31 and the decoder is on 0 0.30. So on the ENCODE side, the two things that you need to set up in system, you'll need to set this up for TW9910, CSI1, CSI2. And once you've done that, you can check that your camera is detected in the information page, SD1, lock, PAL. Then I go to the streaming settings for the ENCODER and I've actually set up SD1. Um, transport stream I've, this is the IP address of the decoder and I've chosen 1234 as the port so that's all you need to do on the encoder obviously in the streaming make sure the red box is on because that means it's streaming now on the decoder side uh, the critical things here are if you go into system first thing is display drivers so you need to set frame buffer 0 as TV out one. Okay, so you've done that. After you've done this, you will have to reboot the board as it says there in green. Uh, the next thing is you will go to um, ba -ba 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 settings. Sorry. So the next thing is in the display setting. This is the second thing you've got to do on a decoder. You have to set the frame buffer parameters. So here I've got frame buffer zero and the options are 1080, sorry, uh, 725.76i PAL or the uh, NTSC version. I'm using PAL as my camera is PAL. Uh, save that. And then the final step of the jigsaw puzzle on the decoder is to click on the network stream. And in the DMUX one, I've actually just set the port. You don't need to put the IP address in here because the encoder is pointing at this particular decoder so all it needs is the port number and you save that and that's it uh, in, and obviously you have to make sorry not streaming network stream you have to make sure that that red box is on and that red box so I think this is everything that we need to do uh, and down here you'll see in the bottom left hand corner there is a, a image of the camera which uh, I will just picked the wrong camera up sorry just trying to find my camera at the moment here it is ah. okay so here I am uh, and there's the camera and as you can see there's a little bit of uh, interlacing artifacts or something there but we'll, we can talk about that once you've got it working um, that's all there is to say obviously on the nano decoder you actually have I'm just going to take the webcam and you actually have two cables um, this is the um, input cable and then the output cable I've actually got connected to the uh, the monitor here that you can see so that's all there is to it um, hopefully that will help